So a couple of days ago, I got to watch the brand new Dragon Ball movie, Dragon Ball Super Superhero. This is actually a direct sequel, to the last Dragon Ball Super movie, Dragon Ball Super Broly, which still slaps to this day. I really wanted to make a review on Broly because I really enjoyed that movie, but I believe it came out uh, around the time I actually was starting YouTube, like 2019, maybe 2018, something like that, right? So I didn't get a chance to do it. So I'm finally getting a chance right now to review the brand new Dragon Ball movie, man. And me being a incredibly big Dragon Ball fan, dude. Like I've been watching this series ever since I was a kid, like many people, although I'm not that old. So I didn't grow up with the original series. I grew up watching Dragon Ball Z Kai, but my dad did introduce me to Dragon Ball before Kai even aired with like all the DVDs and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, I've been surrounded by Dragon Ball since I was born, pretty much. I actually think I've seen every single property of Dragon Ball that's ever come out in terms of like movies and specials and everything. I don't think there's anything that I haven't seen. So pretty much as soon as it got announced, I was pretty excited to watch this movie. So today I finally wanted to give you my thoughts and opinions on it and review the movie for you. I have been putting this off for a little bit though. I saw the movie on Wednesday and right now I'm recording this on Sunday. So I got kind of lazy, I'm not gonna lie. But you know, better late than never, right? So before anything though, I do wanna make things clear. I'm not really gonna go into like any major spoilers of the movie. I'm not gonna touch upon like any major plot points that go on in a movie. I will be picking out like, I guess like minor spoilers or just little goofy stuff that I do wanna touch on uh, over the movie. But for the most part, it's gonna be like 98% spoiler free. So just be warned about that. Um, but the first things that I wanna really talk about is not really a gripe with the actual movie in general, but it's really just a trend with anime movies in recently. It's them showing too much, dude. I hate when the movie, I know, I get you have to build up hype. I get you have to, you know, get people to watch the movie, but like they give too much out that ruins some of the experience. For example, with the last Dragon Ball movie that came out, Dragon Ball Super Broly, they revealed before the movie came out that, hey, by the way, Gogeta's in this movie. It's canon now, and he can turn Super Saiyan Blue and he fights Broly. I'm like, bro, I mean, it's dope as hell. Don't get it twisted. But like, can you imagine like that getting revealed in the movie that they got a fuse to defeat Broly? Like, bro, that would have been the craziest shit. And the same thing with this movie, dude. They reveal, hey, Gohan, hey, he turns Super Saiyan Blanco now. He's Gohan Blanco. That's canon now. Or, you know, that's just in the movie. I'm like, bro, they give too much out. And it kind of like just, uh, it, it kind of just like ruins the, the moment of anticipation because obviously it's supposed to be like a super big thing that happens which like i said i'm not really spoiling anything that hasn't been shown to you guys already that hasn't been promo to you guys by the legitimate company so i'm just telling you things that if you watch any of the trailers right now you should know so like that's just my first thing that i really wish they stopped doing just stop spoiling so much beforehand before we watch the movie but getting on to things my first pro about the movie is that this has so much charm to it. I cannot believe how much personality and how much just, this movie is just fun. I got to say this. It's fun. The aesthetic is super charming, dude. Like from the beginning, I'd say uh, after like the first like couple minutes of them, like doing like a little recap of the story. It's like almost like you're watching a like Pixar movie almost like it's like super comic book esque and that does kind of play into like the art style obviously this movie is a uh, majority of it is like CGI 3D I, I, not all of it though because they do have like little like 2D scenes but I'd say like 98% of it is 3D obviously um and to some people uh they hate that I mean I get it that like CGI is kind of um it has like a negative connotation to it whenever you you know you tell that to like anime fans like whenever they use cgi they're like uh you know they're a little off put about it but i do gotta say that the animation in this movie is it's really good still it's really good i do think that broly does do it better though i i gotta say this i think broly does have the superior style i think broly just has that i don't want to spend this entire review comparing it to broly but i'm sorry dude broly just has like that dragon ball style that i love the bro like shintani's art style with everything it looks phenomenal man but super broly for what it is i still like it i like the 3d and the cgi um i, I have no problems with it at all a lot of charm 
lot of character a lot of aesthetic to this movie really good another pro about this is that this is not a goku and vegeta um movie you know it's not centered about uh, around them they are in it for a little bit like a really really tiny bit um but this is very much a piccolo movie really i thought it was gonna be like uh, Piccolo and Gohan, which Gohan does is like a major character in this, but he's kind of like not as prevalent as Piccolo. Like Piccolo is very much the driving force in this movie. Ever since, like, ever since he's like introduced in the beginning, he's basically just there for like all of the movie, you know. And I love that Piccolo did such a good job in this movie, dude. Uh, I love Piccolo a lot. I think he was like, he, he, he definitely gets underused a lot now in Super, but in this movie, he definitely does shine. He's super funny for one thing. Like <laughs> his scenes are incredibly funny and his interactions with like all the characters like Bulma and you know, um, what's it called? Gohan and whatnot. Super entertaining and super just there. He's hilarious. I got to say that. Pan is another character that I really enjoyed seeing. Uh, her and Piccolo's interactions are just incredibly wholesome, man. Just makes me smile, dude. So yeah, like definitely if you are like a big Piccolo and Gohan fan and you want to see them do stuff and, and talk to each other again, this is definitely like the movie for you. Like they are very much the headliners of this movie. The new androids too are really, really fun, dude. They are really entertaining. This isn't a spoiler, by the way. Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, they were like the brand new androids that were shown. Um, and like I said, they really do steal the show at some points, man. They, they were really, really cool. That's really it though in terms of characters that I enjoyed during the movie. Like Goku and Vegeta, they were in there, but they're kind of just like doing their own thing. Um, you know, Beerus and Whis, they're with Goku and Vegeta doing their own thing. Same thing with Broly. Broly says like two lines, I think. The villains of this show. I'm not the biggest fan of them, personally. They're very, very goofy. I gotta say this. They're like Scooby-Doo quality goofy, bruh. Like, whenever they're on screen, there's never a moment where, like, dang, I am very much intimidated by these people. And obviously, that is the feeling that we're going for here. Um, this movie gives so much OG Dragon Ball vibes. Like, it never really feels that, like, the stakes are that high. Even though things do start to ramp up towards, like, the last third of the movie, um it never really feels to me that like hey we're actually like in really big danger here and like things are really about to heat up it's kind of like for the most part it's like really just goofy antics with piccolo and gohan and pan and the 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 villains of the 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 movie man one thing about the movie that i'm kind of on the fence about is the way they handled gohan now i know gohan is kind of like a He's a little bit of a wild card, man, nowadays, I feel like. I feel like a lot of people either still love Gohan from when he was a kid and a teenager and whatnot, and I know some people just hate adult Gohan now because he, he the character's butchered and whatnot. I'm still a little on the fence with him. In this movie, he's not really, like, back to prime Gohan, but he's not really, like washed even though there's like a recurring joke in the movie that like everyone is washed up apparently like i don't know how long it's been since the tournament of power i mean pan was born in dragon in you know in the dragon ball super series i believe so and she's three in the movie so it, it can't be more than three years of peace and they went through seven years of peace th like uh, from the cell to the majin buu saga and gohan he was still you know he was still doing work but i get he has a wife he has a kid now. He does work, real work, not like, you know, fucking fighting villains and whatnot, but he does like actual computer work. I get it, dude. He's not going to be the most spry fighter on earth, but there's this joke in the movie that like he is washed, man. Like this dude does not know how to do anything anymore. Like there's a scene where Piccolo puts like the training garbs on him that he wears and Gohan's like, he's like struggling to wear it. And I'm like, dude, you were wearing that when you were like nine, my guy. There's no way you are that washed. There's like, I don't know. There's just, just re this recurring theme in the movie where like the characters just forget how to do stuff. Like Goten and Trunks are like, wait, how do we fuse again? How do we do this thing? Oh, wait, I forgot I can, ha I can do this attack. I can transform into this. I'm just like, guys, come on, man. Like, <laughs> like, are we really this washed up nowadays? This isn't a complaint, by the way. This is just like another goofy thing that they do in the movie. There's a lot of goofy moments in the movie, which are sometimes charming. Sometimes I'm like, oh, okay. Like there's a point where 
um they're trying to get in contact with goku and vegeta on Whis's planet right because oh hey guys the world is in danger once again piccolo is like yo boma you gotta contact them they, they gotta come here and save the earth once again boma's like all right i got you piccolo she calls them like two times and he's like, yeah, Piccolo, they're not answering. So I don't really know what to do. I guess we're just fucked now. And like, they're, he's like, well, we can't rely on Gohan. So I guess I don't know what the fuck I'm about to do. Like, dude, they, they just like give up. Like they don't answer the call. So they just give up on everything. They're like, well, fuck, we, I don't know what, what we're about to do now. Things like that kind of just make me laugh. It doesn't really make me take the movie that seriously, which is, you know, kind of a good thing going into this movie. It, it really definitely wasn't as like dire as uh other uh dragon ball movies and whatnot it, it definitely felt way more lighthearted with its themes even though towards the end it does get more serious which i'll talk about here uh which is like basically the the last um act of the movie the third act the finale and whatnot so there, there is a point where everyone has to you know band together and fight and save the world right gohan and piccolo obviously it's a dragon ball movie we got to fight some big baddie you know we got to save the world and whatnot right so they make this joke about Gohan's character. They might not think it's a joke, but like the way that they present it, obviously they're kind of making fun of it a little bit, but obviously we all know Gohan gets more powerful when he gets angry. So like Piccolo and Pan literally plot this thing. They're like, okay, Pan, you gotta act like you're scared, right? You gotta act like you're in danger and your dad's gonna get angry, you know, and he's gonna get more powerful. And it's like the worst, like the worst acting between them two to like <laughs> to like get gohan angry and it works man he gets angry and he's able to fight uh you know and overcome you know the villains and whatnot and stuff like that and i'm just like <laughs> i don't know it's kind of just goofy to me a little bit i mean it was still fun seeing him fight but there's a point where like he still needs glasses but when he turns super saiyan he doesn't need glasses i'm just like what are what is going on here with your character bro it's 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 going through so many twists and turns i don't know how to feel about it i still love you though gohan you're still badass especially the last part with him man now i'm not gonna spoil it or anything but obviously gohan does have a new transformation gohan blanco which it looks pretty badass it does kind of look like a like a little fan art type design you know he, he, he looks like one of those characters that you see when you type in like super saiyan 100 when you were like 10 years old on google and you just see like these like absurd designs he still looks fucking badass though I, I i do like it a lot and um the the last villain that they fight like the big villain at the end that everyone has to overcome i am not the biggest fan of personally i thought it was just kind of all right it was fine seeing uh it but like i was like eh, i mean i uh, it was all right i guess but gohan he had dude i can't i can't say it right now but dude he has a super badass attack that he does man and bro when i saw that i'm like hell yes bro i was waiting for him to do this it was so fucking satisfying to see it man I'm not gonna sit I'm not gonna say anything else because I really want you guys to see this movie for for just like the last act dude it's super cool man definitely has to be one of my top Gohan moments of all time oh it was so satisfying to see it bruh um but yeah that's basically the movie man like I can't like I said I can't really go that deep into it because I do the movie is still fairly new man uh, it's still in theaters I believe and, and and whatnot I believe it's actually the number one movie in the box office which is super cool I believe it's the first movie to do that in oh, a long time man um that that's an anime movie of course but yeah dude it was a super entertaining movie that definitely not perfect if I had to pair it against Broly dude I still think that Broly is the best dragon ball movie that i've seen i think but I, I can definitely see why people think superhero is the best one their favorite now and i can definitely see why a lot of people don't think it's that good there are a lot of factors that play into this like i said superhero is way more lighthearted. it's way more og dragon ball-esque with its things it's way more focused on um comedy adventure silly little antics that go on with the characters rather than like this big grandiose fight like broly is legitimate like for the most part it's like a, a basically just a long ass fight scene am i right with incredible animation 
and just like a, a, a spectacle. It's like it's just it's just one big big battle basically in Broly. And uh, Dragon Ball Super Superhero is kind of like a like the first two acts is very much like a little bit of like a funny, goofy, disguised adventure with Piccolo, right? It's just like a very funny adventure with Piccolo. And then the last part is like, okay, you know, let's fight and stuff like that. It, it's, you know, different strokes for different folks, am I right? About to get my rankings for the Dragon Ball Super movies that have came out. Definitely think uh, Broly is still my number one, but it's very, very close. Uh, super, uh, superhero and, uh, battle of gods are probably tied with second and then, uh, resurrection F is, is probably in last. Um, but nonetheless, I enjoyed dragon ball super superhero. You should definitely give it a watch if you have not already. Like I said, I believe that most anime movies should be seen in theaters. It is crazy to watch movies with a crowd of fans that are there for it, man. Um, like I said, I watched it with a packed crowd. Basically, I watched Broly with a packed crowd. It's fucking amazing to see the audience's reactions and whatnot to things that go on. By the way, I love I'm, this might be a cheap thing that movies do just to give fan service to the audience. I love callbacks, references, flashbacks to events that happened in previous series. There are so many flashbacks and references in this movie. It's insane. They're like, uh, like I mean, I get what they're trying to do. They're like, oh, they're trying to farm nostalgia and stuff like that. I'm actually rewatching through Dragon Ball Z Kai right now, um, so it's kind of funny to see like, oh, they're talking about Frieza. Oh, they're talking about Cell. They're talking about Jiren and Majin Buu. I remember when that happened, dude. It's just like, come on, man. I can't help but get hyped when they talk about them and reference them, and it's like brand new animation and things like that it's it's dope as hell nonetheless movie's pretty sick make sure you guys see it in theaters um if you guys can I'm telling you it's a whole different experience and watch it on like a 240p cam rip on some pirated site am i right um there another movie i do want to review uh once it comes to digital is jujutsu kaisen zero i did not get a chance to watch that in theaters which sucks um but i definitely want to have a review out because that is another movie i do want to check out um, but when it comes to digital, I'll make sure to get a video out on that, on my thoughts and opinions on it. But that is Dragon Ball Super Superhero, everybody. Make sure to leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought of it, man. If, if you've seen it, if you haven't seen it, does it sound interesting to you? Do you not give a fuck about Dragon Ball at all? Which, if you don't, what the hell is wrong with you, dude? That shit is hype. But, uh, yeah, guys, um... Any boy, every man, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And thank you so much, everybody, like always, for all the love and support. I know I've been MIA a little bit, but hey, you know, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. But nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you have a great ass day, like always, man. And I'm out. Peace.